In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a simple but really cool balloon-powered car. But first, let's see how it operates. Make sure you have a large room with a smooth floor. Begin by blowing up the balloon. Make sure you pinch it off so that it doesn't leak. Set the car in a safe direction. Release the balloon and watch it go. As you can see, the chassis of the balloon-powered car is made from cardboard. You'll also need a large party balloon, some vinyl tubing of various diameters, some wheel and axle sets for toy cars, and some optional things are straws, markers to add some color, and some popsicle sticks if you want to add some bumpers to the front and rear of the car. You'll fit the axles and tires onto the car using some plastic coffee straws. You'll want to make sure that they're round. Make sure that you use some hot glue or some packaging tape to secure that on. Make sure it's nice and straight, otherwise your car is going to curve as it rolls. When you cut the coffee straws down to size, make sure there's just a little bit of wiggle room between the uh, coffee straw and the edge of the wheel so that it doesn't bind up and slow the car down when it's rolling. The reason why I'm using three different sizes of tubing is because the largest diameter tubing makes a nice seal with the large balloon, but then the small diameter tubing allows the air to blast out at a slower rate, and this actually allows the car to move further than it would if you just used the largest diameter tubing. But you could experiment and play around with different diameters and see what uh, kind of effect you get. You'll need to elevate your balloon and vinyl tubing on a little structure like this. And that's simply because when the balloon is inflated, it's going to be much larger and it just needs more space to uh, lay upon the chassis. Over here are some of the materials I had to use. The wheel and tire set, these could be purchased on, on Amazon. These actually come as a package deal with the metal axles and the wheels, which is great because they fit in nice and snug, saves a lot of time and trouble, and they roll really good. You can buy those in like packages of 24 or 50 or 100 or even more, and then you'll have a ton of them for all sorts of projects. The balloon, uh, you'll want to use this style of balloon. I don't know, just like a regular party balloon. Avoid the smaller balloons that are designed for like water balloons or balloon animals. Uh, they just don't work as well. The coffee straws, you know, color doesn't matter. It's just important that they are round and that the axles fit through them. And you will need to cut them down so that they're a little bit, a little bit narrower than the axles themselves. The vinyl tubing, like I said earlier, I used three different sizes and fit them together. The largest tubing is three quarter inch outside diameter by half inch inside diameter. The medium sized tubing is half inch outside diameter and three eighths inch inside. And then the smallest is three eighths inch outside and quarter inch inside diameter. Uh, those usually will fit together pretty snug, but you might need to add a little bit of hot glue just to seal them off really good so you don't have any air leaks. Aside from that, you know, the optional stuff, you could color it, you could add like exhaust pipes, bumpers, other things, whatever you want. And you don't have to make the chassis rectangular. Um, you could experiment with different lengths and shapes. The only critical thing is it just needs to be narrow enough so that it fits between the wheels once attached to the axle. So there you have it, everybody. That is a balloon powered car. Give it a try. Also, please take the time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Come back again for new cool ideas on all sorts of hobby related stuff.